Hey, my name is Sean and welcome to the Scottish Highlands and to a new two-part vlog series, The Highlands in Autumn. There's nothing I enjoy more than going on road trips in the Highlands and showing friends from all around the world some of the best things about Scotland. And as two of our Brazilian friends were joining us for a trip, that's exactly what we're doing in these episodes. And you are coming along too. There will be whiskey, there will be log cabins, and lots of beautiful sights. In part two, we are exploring Glencoe. Patreon members get early access to these videos and can download the ad-free versions right to their desktop. Check on the links below this video. Look at those autumn colours, it's absolutely amazing. We are here on the first stop of the day to get a cafe, to get some breakfast, to get some coffee, but at a place where we've got a pretty special view of the mountains and the trees are behind, but also you might recognise that place, Eileen Donan Castle. What a spot for breakfast. It's unreal. So I thought we'd stop here for a little bit, take some photos the castle because it would be rude not to get some coffee and head on our way look at that Eileen Donan is one of the most famous castles in Scotland and is said to be the most Instagrammed castle in the country as well. And you can see why, it's stunning. It was originally built in the 13th century and belonged to the clan Mackenzie, but due to their involvement with the Jacobites, it was destroyed by the British Navy in a battle, which included many Spanish soldiers who defended the castle alongside their Jacobite allies. front of Island Donan, I'm having a, a toasty, a very Scottish toasty. This toasty has haggis, it's got Orkney cheddar and chicken and some kind of chutney that makes it sweet as well. I tried some of Tekka's and I thought I need to have one of them because it's delicious. And that's breakfast, haggis toasty in front of Island Donan. Haggis is a taste of Scotland. Haggis, cheese and chutney, I think. It's and bacon. 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 Bacon jam. Bacon jam. Bacon jam, haggis, chicken and Orkney cheddar. I can't go wrong. It's a taste of Scotland. The current castle, as you see it today, is actually a 20th century reconstruction built from the year 1919, and despite its relatively young years, it still looks as authentic as any castle you'll see in Scotland today. The next stop on our route is the Glenfinnan Viaduct. This is a fantastic rail bridge, providing spectacular views of the Glen over which it crosses. But most people come here for Harry Potter, 
The viaduct appeared in both the second and third Harry Potter films. Many people come for that experience. As the Jacobite steam train, a Harry Potter experience train takes passengers on day trips. Since we're taking friends who have never been to Scotland, who are also Harry Potter fans around Scotland, we have to stop here, right? In the Glenfinnan Viaduct. Glenfinnan Viaduct, rather. Such a beautiful place, and the sun is shining on it so nicely. We ran all the way up the hill with them. They're currently there behind me. We ran all the way up the hill, waiting for this train, and then read some more and found out that it doesn't run in the wintertime. Almost threw up and almost passed out. So they missed out on the Harry Potter train, but... It was still beautiful and they're still very happy with seeing the viaduct because it's a beautiful sight. Well, as is typical and should be expected, at this time of year in Scotland, the weather has caught up with us. The autumn weather, it is raining a lot and it's due to rain like this for the next 24 hours. Pretty serious stuff. But just as well, we've got somewhere nice and cosy to stay tonight. The Glencoe Inn, here in Glencoe. One of my favorite parts of the country. We're actually gonna dump our bags here very quick and then we're gonna take a drive before we lose the light. A couple of miles down the road, well, probably more than a couple of miles, maybe about 10 miles down the road. Cause I wanna see if we can see some deer and sure guess some of the deer that we've got in this area because I've never seen one before. And then we'll be coming back here tonight to stay. Um, I'm looking forward to getting to bed, to be honest, because it's been a long, long couple of days. It'll be nice to get a nice, cozy, cozy place to stay. And then out there's rain. Hopefully it doesn't stay, but it's due to rain like this for 24 hours and it's absolutely teeming down. So let's get our stuff in. We're going to shut off down the road, come back here. Good night. Looking forward to it. The highlands are usually full of deer, but they seem to have gone missing on this occasion. Maybe it was a rain. But we did see this one lone snag, and he looked spectacular in the autumn colours. So, the Glencoe Inn, we've arrived. And I'm at the door of a room 116, which the manager reception told me is the nicest room in this hotel. And so I'm excited to see. Let's go and have a good look. Let's get out. Your bottle's gonna fall. Your bottle's gonna fall. Let's go. Here we go. It's very cozy. It's actually very warm. I need to put the heating off in here. Wow. Oh my goodness. I love, love, love the tartan everywhere. Love, love, love the tartan already. Tekka has already put her jackets hanging up in the corner. We've got like this closet area here. That's very nice. Lots of space, got towels up there. Bathrobes even. Window here, which has, I think, a view of Loch Leven down there. Autumn bracken, lovely painting here. Very, very cool. Our bed is like huge, massive. Look at the size of it, that is perfect. Nice sweet desk area here, which is all traditional style with a tartan pillow. Love that. And they've even given us some whiskey. Glenlivet as well. That is the good stuff. We've been treated. This is magic. Wow. But you haven't seen the best yet. The best, I think. Something I've never had in my life. Inside the room, there's a huge bath. Don't know what I'm going to do with that. That is different. And pretty cool. Wow, this place is awesome. Lovely, lovely room. Loads of space, very traditional themed. Nice wooden floors. I probably should take my shoes off to be honest. Um, there's even an old radio there, which works. It was 
plane when we came in. Beautiful, love it. Very, very cool. Also the bathroom here, all very clean and tidy and new looking. Nice massive shower there. This place has recently been renovated as well, which is good. I was very keen for our guests to experience the Highlands' famous hospitality. Hospitality is a trait that runs deep in these parts, so deep in fact that it even got a bunch of the trusty locals killed. One morning in the 1600s, dozens of members of the Clan Macdonald of Glencoe were murdered as they slept by their own guests. As is customary in these parts, they had extended hospitality to members of the Campbell Clan, who were there supposedly seeking shelter from bad weather. Little did the McDonald's know, however, that their guests were untrustworthy government stooges who, at 5am one morning, hacked their way through the local population as they slept. Nonetheless, the locals should have no fear with our arrival. The only thing that we wanted to murder was some red meat and maybe some seafood. After tasting some great wine, we started with some rich and warm tomato soup, which was followed by a starter of venison carpaccio. Mm. Then came what turned out to be everybody's favourite dish of the evening, Loch Leven mussels in a warm and creamy sauce. For mains, fillet steak and half a lobster, surf and turf you might call it, with a local twist. Mm. Scottish beef, doesn't matter what anybody tells you about beef from here, it's good. Everything was cooked perfectly. It was juicy and it was seasoned well. Somehow Scotland has a reputation for bad food among people from Europe, but actually we have some of the best food produce in the world. Find someone who can cook it right and it's almost unbeatable. All of this food needed to be watered down, so we hit the bar for some colour changing gin and a wee dram before bed. Waking up in the morning, I just had to try that huge bathtub with a view. With rain crashing off the windows, it was a relaxing experience. But more food awaited, it was breakfast time. Not a bad way to start the morning, eh? Had a really good night's sleep, got a bathrobe on for the first time in probably years and we're going for breakfast. I would say we had an amazing view but the weather today is atrocious and the weather forecast said it was going to be atrocious all day so you can't really see much outside but we're in the Highlands, we're going to have a nice Scottish breakfast uh, and then we're going to make our way slowly back down to Edinburgh. Breakfast time in the Scottish Highlands. My God, we're just at the door. It's very, very wet outside. Just as well, we are inside a nice warm place with a fire in the corner. I should probably make it clear that not all this food is mine. But I wanted to show you some of the variety of dishes that our table enjoyed as we sat at the breakfast table. The Glencoin has so many different things for breakfast that I've never seen on our breakfast menu before. But that's okay. For example, oysters for breakfast. I don't know if that's something that you've seen before. I'm not going to have them myself because I'm not a massive fan of oysters anyway. But for those who like oysters, I'm, they'll be very good ones because they're right from the lock here. 
Um, the guys here on the table are going to have oysters, but also there is venison for breakfast, which is really unusual. I've never ever seen venison for breakfast. Um, I'm going to have a full Scottish breakfast and try the venison because it has to be done. But it all looks really good. Like there's croissants here, there's jam, there's honey, there's coffee. We're being well looked after. Breno, Breno's first time at Oyster. Mm. Yeah. Right from the lock, really? right from lock leaving. Mm. Really good. Whoa. I'm really anxious. <laughs> <laughs> Was it good? It's really good. Yeah, <laughs> it's good. Finally, the main event, a full Scottish breakfast, filled with everything that you might expect. Eggs, mushrooms, sausages, bacon, and oh yeah, haggis. This is truly the breakfast of champions. Ask for a side of venison for breakfast just to try it. It's like a, it comes like a kind of ham. Um, let's try it. It's very nice. Strong. Must be much better than ham. We should change ham for this. <laughs> I've had a lot of breakfast at different hotels in my life. And you can really tell and appreciate when they use good quality ingredients. The haggis, top quality. The bacon, top quality. It's, all, it's just all good stuff. As we said our goodbye to the Glencoe Inn, we headed a few miles outside the town and into the valley of Glencoe itself, one of my favourite views in all of Scotland. They call this place the Valley of Tears and I always used to think that this was a reference to the famous massacre, but coming here on a day like this really showed what the name was all about. With the rainfall, the hundreds, no, the thousands of cascading waterfalls pour in from all directions. This extraordinary sight is where the name comes from. And even if you might get a little wet, it's a sight that you will not want to miss. Oh my God. Can't believe the luck we're having, the weather has opened just a tiny little bit, allowing us to get out of the car and take some videos. And it looks awesome and atmospheric with those clouds there. All the rain coming off the mountains, streaming down. Just after we've left the hotel this morning, we've had 24 hours of rain. It has been epic, epic rainfall overnight. And all the waterfalls are full, which means we get to take lots of really nice photos and videos if the rain stays off now, which the weather forecast has said it's not supposed to do. But anyway, our friends, Joanna Brenner are there down the hill taking photos now. There's a wee bit of blue sky up there, look. Look there. We might be lucky, we've been lucky this whole trip. Glencoe and the Three Sisters. This is just, it's unbeatable. I hope that you've enjoyed these videos from the Highlands. Make sure you go back and watch the first episode as well. The link will be in the description. And please consider becoming a Patreon member and support my content. In return, you'll receive downloads of these videos, which you can keep forever and there'll be early access, among a range of other benefits. Thank you so much for watching, and until the next time, Slangevar.